What is up guys? My name is Freestyles101 and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make 3D text and motion track inside of After Effects. All going to be inside of After Effects. Uh, one plugin you guys are going to need to have is Element 3D. It's a third party plugin by Video Copilot. I'll leave a link to the um, to their website where you can purchase it. I'm sure there are special ways of getting it. Um, uh, as for what program this is, you guys should know it's Adobe After, After Effects. Um, I have a pre-composed clip right here. I'm going to open it up and go run through with you guys real quick before I show you guys how to actually motion track. So I just got my color correction and my widescreen bars right here. And I have my element 3D, my track point, and my camera as well. So let's go ahead and delete all four of these. And delete this as well. So this is actually a clip I got for... Um, my recent edit introducing VL Ace. Um, I didn't actually make this clip itself, or I mean, I didn't get it in theater mode myself. I actually had to download it from YouTube because my controller broke because my Xbox is a piece of shit sometimes and it doesn't like me. It doesn't like Indians, so I don't know. Maybe Microsoft is racist. But um, what you guys are going to be doing is right click on this, go to Effect go down to perspective and click 3d camera tracker and now what's going to happen is uh, after effects is going to take all the 2d images inside your video and create the 3d track points and make one big 3d video basically so what you guys can imagine this is by throwing a dart kind of into the uh, video kind of analogy so like so that's what after effects is doing right it's basically throwing like 600 800 darts inside of the video and then it's creating track points from these basically that's one way you guys can think of it. Um, also, for now, you guys shouldn't be uh, using this for a very fast clip, like a trick shot, or uh, someone who's feeding or something, or maybe you guys are doing IRL footage. You don't want to use this on something that's insanely quick moving, so if you guys are spinning around in circles, you probably don't want to motion track with this. You guys are going to need a uh, more advanced motion tracking software called Buju. Uh It's $10,000, and again, there's probably a special way of getting it. Um, I'll leave a link to the the website that um the company that sells Buju um as well as Video Copilot's link um they're the guys who made uh, Element 3D um also you guys can see how uh, what frame it's currently at and also how much longer there is left um what's going to be doing now is probably solving the camera right after if it gets past the 99 percent come on there we go. Uh, I'm just going to let this solve real quick. Oh, there it's done. Okay. So, uh, once you guys motion track it and it's pretty much done solving camera and stuff, you're going to guys you guys are going to get all these little uh, little track points right here. This is where I was talking about all the little darts going through. This is where all these darts landed, I guess. This is where After Effects decided all the track points are and all these put together technically make up a 3d image or not a 3d image it's going to make it completely 3d because now you can go inside here and you can tell that uh this is so this little cone thing up here is actually a cone thing it's not just a little pixel now after effects knows that um if you guys are not seeing these track points just adjust your track point size and increase it quite a bit also if you guys are not seeing the target which is this red circle thing increase that as well um, what you're going to need to do is pick a point that's going to be shown during the entire video basically uh, it doesn't have to be shown it doesn't have to be completely shown during the entire video but that section of it so technically I could pick this point right here and at the end of the video that point is still going to be in the video so that's just fine I could technically pick that point but I'm not going to because there's so many more better options here so Pick one that's flat. Also, guys, you don't you guys don't want to pick one up here or over here. It should work still up here. Uh, I'm not sure. I've never tested it. I never tried really either. I don't recommend trying it either. It's probably gonna be a waste of time. Um. So what you guys want to do is left click on this, right click again, and create null in camera. So now what After Effects has done is create a track null point as well as create a 3D camera. So what now the camera? Imagine a guy. Imagine a cameraman, and then imagine a point that he's going around, uh, going a circle around. So that's basically what the track null and the 3D track camera do. So you guys can always move this around your track null. You guys can move it up. You guys can move it down. I don't recommend doing that. I recommend leaving it as is. 
Um, but moving on, you guys should create a new text. Um, so let's say shalom. I don't know if I spelled that correctly. It's kind of sad if I did. Let's move that underneath the color correction. Turn that off, guys, uh, and create a new solid. Uh, name is Element 3D. 3D. You guys are going to right click, go to effect, and type in, or not type in, click element. Uh, first thing you guys want to do with element is go to custom layer, go to custom text and masks, and pick the pick whatever object you're using. So I'm using normal text, so I'm going to pick schlong. Uh, if you guys are using a 3D model or something, it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, I might make a tutorial on that. You probably won't need to. It's a basic. It's a base. Um, ugh. It's the same basic theory, guys. Um, just go to scene setup. Click extrude, and now I have my 3D text. Um, I don't recommend leaving it like this. You guys should go to presets, bevels. Uh, this is probably my favorite one. Double down. Um, the only problem with this is that it creates these little weird things because of, this is a transformers text. So it does have a few problems here and there. So let's change the color. I don't like this red too much. Maybe right here. Yeah, that looks nice actually probably look a little bit better with the color correction on top so just click OK one of you guys are done with that and now when we scroll through the video you guys can see that the text is actually in place the 3d text is going to be staying in place the entire video so if you guys did not motion track before what's wrong oh it's not responding what the fuck come on Adobe don't be like this oh sorry guys it's lagging give it a second holy shit Okay, that was weird. Okay, back to what I was saying. It's going to be staying there the entire video, guys. Um, our entire clip, basically. So now what you guys can do is actually get into the little nicks and tricks of it. Go to Particle Replicator and Particle Look. Uh, particle Look, your particle size is going to adjust the size of it. So if I put this up to 50, which I probably don't need to because it's going to bring it right up to your face. Uh, maybe put this to 15. That's a pretty good size. And... You guys can adjust where your uh, text is going to be. You can adjust the Y, so what height in the what height of the video it's at. I recommend going to the middle of your video or where the main part of your video is, and adjusting it from there. Uh, this looks pretty nice as is. Maybe move it up a little bit and change the position Z, guys, so that way it'll uh, look a little bit more realistic. It'll look more like it's inside. Uh, one thing you guys can, uh, if you guys are not using a dark color correction, you can also create a reflection on the ground uh, by turning, by creating, um, taking the text and turning down the opacity and placing it there. Uh, that's a pretty easy way to create a cool shadow effect. Um, also, uh, rotation. That's uh, the one thing I wanted to discuss because a lot of you have been asking me how I did the rotation effect in my old, uh, in my Aces introducing video, which I did for my Clan Team Viral, which is where this clip is from, actually. Um, all you guys have to do is actually just go to Particle Replicator, yeah, Particle Replicator, and you guys are going to want to, maybe I'll start it from the very beginning of the video, so, control, click on both of these, and what you guys can, so I'm going to leave it at zero right there, and I'm going to go all the way to the end of the video, oops, also, yeah, see, this is what I was talking about, you're probably going to cut this back a little bit, cut the video back a little bit, uh, so that this doesn't show up, um, so it solved everything basically except for that one frame right there I'm not sure why so back to rotation guys um let's move this maybe right here well actually yeah, let's just put it to three yeah 360 actually would be probably the best one and move well actually I believe you can just yep Type 1 here, actually, if you guys want to do a full rotation. So that way, when you guys come over here, what I'll be doing, it'll already be spinning. So that's how you guys animate stuff inside of um, Element 3D and also motion track, create 3D text or 3D objects. It works the same way for uh, 3D objects, guys. Um, it's a pretty cool effect. Um, one thing I don't recommend is copying other people's um, thing with it. Um, or not copying, sorry. Uh, doing overused um, effects. Uh, with your 3D text, I made the mistake of doing that within my first edit. Uh, I used the Batman Forever font, which is pretty overused font. It's used by FaZe, and a lot of people use it. 
and it's been there for several years so um, I don't recommend doing overuse stuff like that um, let's turn on the color correction and the widescreen bars back again guys and it should look pretty nice so widescreen bars and ta -da! looks pretty nice right and so now this makes it look a lot better guys so um, maybe I'll add some glow to it actually that might be a good idea I already have glow open uh, move it down to element 3d and that looks 10 times better probably move the glow radius down to uh, let's move this down to zero actually that might make yep that looks nice um that's pretty much it guys for creating 3d text and motion tracking as well as using element 3d and animating with it inside of after effects is all after effects only motion tracking everything's done in here uh, one thing before I end the video guys is that I want to tell you guys that this is not a tutorial channel I'm just helping people out for as long for um, all the stuff I know because it took me quite a while to figure out how to use After Effects and all editing and everything so I'm just doing this to help a lot of you guys out I'll eventually end tutorials at some point um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I know I enjoyed making the edit and stuff uh, links will be in the description below to Video Copilot and Buju as well, which is another motion track software. I believe I mentioned that before. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy the video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, please. Um, and until next time, guys, hope you guys enjoyed.